What's up, everybody? Welcome to Babylon Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please smack that like and subscribe. What's up, Mr. Mesk? How you doing this morning? And oh, apparently my audio is on. Very good. At least we are good on that front. I was a little worried. My micro, I've been, I got a new headset, gentlemen. So tomorrow I won't be wearing this wired thing i have a wireless set i've been toying with and it kind of was messing with my audio settings but i am glad we are good now that i don't have to know that so what's going on brad how's it heading we are you know going to try to make some silver today so mask uh i, I know you, you're here so rick told me he got another blue tag this morning <laughs> <laughs> during happy hour so yeah so once it updates he should have 12 blue tags now um have you got your your first one yet <laughs> um. I do have a little bit of knowledge about that too. So I'll, I'll wait till I know you're a hundred percent here before I will uh, tell you that. What's what's happening, Brad? We are just coming on. We're going to make some silver, hopefully a little bit today. Um, I'm going to try to troll a couple different uh, areas in tongue that I normally don't troll using some different lures. I normally don't use. I'm going to hit the 11 spot for a little bit. Then I'll come down and hit the 12. Um, I'll try to alternate days. And if we don't do well here, then I will just simply go to, um, I will go to Amber because Amber seems to be doing well again. We just can't get away from Amber though. So I'd rather hopefully make a lot of silver here. Silver's good, okay? Ah, uh, happy hour, of course. I'm gonna try some balsas at the very beginning because these, this, well, this brown balsa has been doing really good in the weeklies. So, uh, let's let's see how it does. So I know this 11 hole starts here. We'll go ahead and we'll go. We're going to start up the 11 today. Just as something different. Something different. Mm. Turn down these boat settings just a wee little bit. Just, just a wee little. Not the effects. The background. That's It is the effects. Oh, straight off the bat. Okay, we'll go with that. Nelma! We'll see how these balsas play out today, boys. Oh, man. Hopefully we get some cash. I'm going to use the Satori as my, my third. If not... If I got a blue balsa on the other rod, if it doesn't do well, I will switch to a, no, oh, a dodger. I just wanted to try it out because I don't have two of these particular balsas. Mask, you still here, brother? So, so what I found out, Rick uses Mugga S1s up at the wild spot. Mugga S1s. Which is even smaller than what I was using. <clears throat> I 
it's a uh, different, de definitely different. There goes the other one, the blue one. So at least we know that's going to work a little bit. Little char, little char. Let's take a gander. So I am running the blue ball cemento on one and the nice six version of that. That's the one that's in the weeklies. So everywhere, everywhere. So hopefully it does us really well today. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's put the blue version also on the list. Let's do that today. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm, I'm going to use this Satori. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Brian? What is up, my friend? Oh, there goes the blue again. So, I don't know if I'm going to continue to use this Satori. We'll, we will see. I, I will experiment with this third rod today. I may end up putting a, a blue dodger on it. <laughs> I, I I hear tuba's hot. Tuba is hot today. I see it. I'm hoping that uh, Tungus could cheat treats me right here. Got you second on the weekly. Which weekly is you on second? Uh, all regions or or USA? I'll take a peek here. Let me t let me turn this boat around. Oh, actually, let me get this fish. Okay, so this blue Dodger Crank's actually, or not Dodger, this blue uh, Balsa Crank's actually not doing too bad. On other? Okay. We'll take a peek at some records. My boat will ever cooperate with me. All right, that should be the right direction. Yes, yes. All right. So we'll go ahead and patrol that. All right, let's take a look at some records. So other says the buffalo. Mm hmm yes 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 well that's not a blue tag that 20 is a trophy right is 20 a blue tag for buff is it really I thought 20 20 is the uh I don't know what what is what is the one I got. Now, now you're gonna have me look. Oh, I guess that is that's right. Buffalo only get yeah 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 yeah. That's right. Buffalo I think starts at fifteen. Correct, correct. As soon as I said that, I I, I read your type. <laughs> it's all good. Congrats. Still a nice fish.
Still a nice fish. Let's see how my oh, let's see how my USA ones are doing. Cause you know USA, it's. Eh. I don't even remember what did I catch. I caught a. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Bastard sturge, I'm still up. Yay. Uh, what else did I have? Oh, salmon. I, w I went right past it. Yeah, so I had salmon. Yeah. They're trying to catch me. They're trying. So salmon bastard. I had frog at one point, too. I had frog and bleak. <laughs> Oh, oh, they pushed my frog down. Oh, leather, leather. <laughs> oh, he was close. He was close. I don't think I had anything else. Nothing, nothing truly obscure. The blue, the blue seems to be not bad. We're not doing too bad with that. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. The USA though, it's I ain't gonna lie, it's a little easier to get on the weeklies. We have a lot smaller fish. The other region, you got a lot of competition. And, and in all fairness, if you looked at mine and compared it to, to the other region, they're a lot smaller. And you know what? These fish come right out of the water. They're like butter with these uh, new rods. Like butter. I was, I thought I was looking a little off course there. I figured I'd patrol to eleven a little bit, then we'll uh I might work my way down to patrol to twelve. Just changing it up a little bit, changing it up. Like I said, once you, hey, what's going on, Kren? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? We're just doing a little trolling, trying to get some silver up, my friend. Me and Ryan just hanging out. We got bread and mesk in the house hiding somewhere. He'll be back. No, them boys, they probably got a big old, uh, a big old fish on board. Little baby eyes, you can keep that on. Bello. I, I like bello fishing. I just, uh, I'm not a. I, I hate bait fishing. Friend chilling. <laughs> I hate. I hate bait fishing with a passion. <laughs> oh no! He got the pink salmon and his game went poop. That sucks. Well, at least you caught it. Well, I tell you, I don't even know if I'm going to need a third pull if this keeps up. I'm all right with that. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I, I like the bellow. Uh, what rod am I using? What, on, on my trolls? I'm using um, the black edition for my trolling rods. Uh, both up both of them are they uh they're about 7500 bucks in the shop but they give a uh, plus two to the wobbler and then uh my for my third rod i'm just using a basic ethnic yep You can craft it. It just takes a, a lo you got to be really up there in uh, crafting. Like right. Oh, uh, where am I? Skills. I don't even have it unlocked yet. So. I think it's under here, but I'm not sure. right here it's the excellent balsa uh wait 65 i think it's 65 right yeah i'm pretty sure 65 f is the one i'm ones i'm using here let me look oh no i'm using 75 f's somebody crafted these and gave them to me uh 75F. 75F. Quality 9 of 10. I'm not going to say his name because I don't want everybody hounding him, but uh, I know it, I know it's craftable. Thanks, Salmon. Still early. Let's do a little trip. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get back up and then back down. Right here, balsa minnow, seventy-five F. So you need you need a excellent minnow uh, skill unlocked, which unlocks at excellent minnow unlocks at eighty-five percent, eighty-five percent. Eighty-five percent they need. I got mine off. Somebody gave them to me. Both these uh, minnows, the blue and the other one. On, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to say his name on stream because <laughs> I don't want you know a hundred people hounding him. <laughs> uh, you have 27. Hey, Brummy, how's it going, brother? How's the uh, how's the game and hitting? <laughs> we're just chilling we're doing some fishing man relaxing hanging out with the boys you know usual I'm still looking for another game to play outside of fishing you know I'm not I'm not really a Fortnite person or an apex so I'm not uh <laughs> I'm still looking. I'm still looking for a second game. I like to play those games. I'm just terrible at them. <laughs> Absolutely terrible at them. I, I dabble in World of Tanks. That's about that's about as epic as I get. Sometimes I do a little war zone if I just decide I want to get shot in the face at supermarket repeatedly. Um <laughs> 
other than that, uh, I haven't been playing a lot of anything but fishing. There's a couple different games on the horizon. I hope they do well and, you know, it'll be a second game for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible and no one's just, look, I've even got so many hours playing Rocket League and I, I'm sure no one wants to see, see, see my ass, you know, do Rocket League. Me, the problem I have with Rocket League is like, you gotta basically go in with a team. Eh, kind of like all, you know, the shooter games. I seen that. That was awesome. It was a little bit different than, than the fish in here, but you know, it was still impressive you got all the fish. <laughs> uh, what'd you say? Three hours doing that? Just, you know, spinning. Oh man, that, that was, that was impressive. Uh, I'm looking for a decent, I'm actually looking for like a decent MMO or, you know, some, there's actually a Castle Siege game I applied for, uh, so we'll see if they'll send me a key. Oh my. I got the kid crying out here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought I could just bring that in. What the heck's going on here? Hmm. Hold on, I guess. Hold on, guys. I just got to see what's going on. I'll be right back. All good. Every once in a while, you just got to go lay the law, boys. <laughs> oh, thanks. Hey, Plangents in the house. Yeah, they had a little uh, thing where you can uh, catch, what was it, Brummy? Like um, 30 fish? Something like that. They had like a little event going on. Basically, you were spinning a net uh, trying to get fish. It was, I actually watched one of his videos. It was, it was entertaining to, to actually sit there and watch.
Yeah, get it. <laughs> Broke your spool. Oh man. Uh, don't you don't you hate when they spool you out? Nice, Ryan. Where are you where are you at? You at Amber still? You at Amber? Oh, you know, that's right. You did say you were a tube on the bellows. Yeah, I can't do the bleaks. I, they just, it's very tiring. No one wants to watch me do bait fish. <laughs> I tell you what, these these are coming out fairly fairly decent even at the, at night. I meant to cast that one out for other. Oh, you know, you know, plans. You, we, we have, I'm still looking for another, a second game, brother. You know, it's. I, I, I tried Iron Conflict because uh, I had another one of my subs that, that followed me from whenever I used to be on Twitch uh, tell me it got an update. And, you know, it's. It still doesn't feel right. The um, the the queue times are still way too long. I don't know. The devs really irritated me with that game too. Sink to the bottom. <laughs> oh, it was forty four. Okay, forty four. <laughs> I know you were counting. Uh, that was a that was definitely different. Sitting there spinning with a net. So so yeah, plan job. I'm not sure what I'm I'm gonna be getting into. I I really don't. I see there's another game on the horizon. Um, I applied for a for a key. We'll see if I get one. I don't even what what was it? Hold on, let me look here. Seed survival, so so they're gonna have like a month of uh, keys for content creators. So I'm I'm hoping to get a key. I would like to try it. Go fishing some big beluga. You can keep all your beluga. I don't I don't want beluga. They they take way too long to bring in. <laughs> They take way too long to bring in. If I got to spend 12 real life hours uh, actually uh, bringing in a fish in this game, man, I'd need to put a bathroom right here and have a coffee pot right behind me on stat. Oh, someone's asking if Amber's dead again. I don't know. It didn't look at it. I thought about it and was like, eh. I do well at amber when the sun's shining for whatever reason. I mean, I, I get that Venga. Do you got but do you have a TI rod for it or are you just going to put it on a carp rod, Crin? I know Mess Mess bought a TI rod the other day and uh it looks damn sexy with his Venga. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I did a little bit of tanks, and I might play that later today. I, I don't know. I, I I enjoy the game. Here comes a no mo. I enjoy playing tanks. It's just, um, it's so team dependent. Oh, you're good. You're good, Brum. You're good. You walk. 
You, you can multitask, it's fine. At least somebody's gotten out of their house. I'm, I'm still in it today. Yeah, no, yeah, you got to have a TI if you're especially if you're going for the big fish. Oh, yeah, plange, and especially if you got a um, an event going on, like the Easter event, where they do like, you know, five, seven, ten times XP, you, it brings everybody out of the woodwork, Every, so I don't even bother playing on them days. Anytime when there's special events, I just, I just stop, I don't even play it. I stay away. Greetings! What is happening, Dijon? Are are you back on the RF four? Are you um still shooting people on Rust today? Or are you going to give people a break on rust and, 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 and throw some rods in the water? Yeah, you know, and, and, you know, the thing about, like, um, Iron, Iron Conflict, you know, Planch, that could have been a really good game, really good. I had high hopes, but the way that the development team has taken it, I mean, it, it could be another three years before that game's actually, you know, worth a damn. And by then, your, your population ain't going to care about it because you released it way too soon. Ah, yeah, checking on that second. You do multiple houses, so you got stuff spread out. That's smart. Um, yeah, it's um. So they could have they could have done so much more with that game. But it's all good. They choose their own path. Yeah, um, someone was just saying Amber was dead in my chat. Uh, I'm not sure. I just seen that person just pull out a 5.4 mirror. But it doesn't look like there's a whole hell of a lot of... If Rick's catching grass carps... Oh, he caught a black carp too. wonder where he's at. Maybe he's at Bear. Hmm. That's interesting. That is definitely interesting. No, I well, I actually got the key uh, given to me, so I I really don't. I think it was what fifteen dollars when it came out. Can I open the weather for donuts? Yeah, I can. Just let me spin around here. So, Severski Donuts. Let's see. Your today's forecast for donuts was 26 degrees. Slight rain in the forecast, probably, you know, looking like a 20% chance. Sunshine tomorrow, however. You're going to have 26 carried for the next four days. Cloudy the last two. Partially cloudy, make that note. Partially cloudy. <laughs> uh yeah, that was, it's not that bad. I mean, I got enjoyment out of it for quite a while. I I, I did enjoy the game. I just wish they would have listened to me. Uh, no, nobody in their right mind is going to sit there for five minute cues. 
sorry, just it is not gonna happen. And all the fanboys going, yeah, well, I want PvP, and I'm like, yeah, well, I just want to play the damn game. <laughs> you know, I just want to play the game. Come on. Uh. What are you thinking about doing down at Donuts? I mean, you can always drift, do some wacky rig. That's like my favorite thing to do down there. I'm going to have to do that again soon. I don't make a lot of silver, but I get a lot of fish. So you got to take, you know... Oh yeah, yeah. It, it it is it is. Uh, I, I I get why they want PVP, but the problem is if you wait five minutes and you're still playing bots, then what's the difference if I launch at five minutes or two? It's really not. Uh, how much is what rod? These rods? The ones I'm trolling with? <laughs> you talking about these rods here? Crin? These are uh, right around 7,500 a piece. I think they're 75, 7,600 silver each. I wanted something to replace my super duties with. So I, I basically chose these. And this, because I originally was going to just use this cheap ethnic, but you've seen why I don't like the ethnic. It's like a wet noodle. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it gives, well, it gives plus two to the wobbler. I actually won one for RF4, but I don't have a reel to put on it yet. Because it, it calls for a uh, casting rod, and I don't have any casting or conventional rods to put on it. Hey, what's happening, Wood? You know, we're just chilling here. Getting a little fish here, a little fish there. Trying to spin around. You know, you know the drill. <laughs> trying to just spin around. Woo! A rough spot, huh? Are you in a rough spot? I think I'm just, I should just change out this uh, Satori 4A, a blue dodger. Yes, it actually, it'll actually make your wobblers plus five. Yes. Why don't I sell it? Because I just bought it. I wanted that rod. I don't care about a barracuda. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy with my poles. <laughs> The only thing I want to change up is this one I got in my hand. Uh. 
Yeah, yeah, it is good. Boop. Yep, small. Oof. Another well, small. Good times. <laughs> Two more hours, you're dedicated. I guess I guess I guess we'll know about how much you how much better you feel about that spot after two hours. <laughs> Growing up, normally large mutant sp spiders, huh? What's what's oh nice. What's wrong with a little spider action? All right, see you later, Kren. All right, sounds good, Brum. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Appreciate it. Much love, much love, much love. Yeah, a lot of people buy, like, the Barracuda Rods. I had Super Duties before I bought these. I just wanted to... So every once in a while, it, it, it's not bad to be different. Be, be unique. There's literally a thousand combinations that'll work in this game. I assure you. I, I assure you. You're, 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 uh... The, set, the setups are... Don't all have to be meta. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever you want to make work for you. Just like when I troll Balea and everyone goes, but Bav, why don't you use, you know, bait casting reels? Why do you got to use Narga 2000s on a, you know, a spitting setup? And I say, well, why not? You know, I mean, I can make wacky rigs out of that too. See? <laughs> We don't all have to sit follow the same the same route to fish. We will all catch the same fish in the end, I assure you. <laughs> uh, ah, shoot. Nice. Nice. Tell you what, I normally don't come up this way, but it has definitely starting to pay off fishing, fishing up here. And these balsam minnows are, are just ripping through stuff. Damon! Nice. We're getting some nice sized fish too. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, what, what? It's only a little bit of spider food. I mean, sometimes people have to contribute I'm gonna replace this because it I haven't got a lot with it and hold on let me uh I'm just gonna make a slight change because do I have any extras I have one all right let me uh I let me take that off of the Satori real quick um come off Let's go and I 
change these out. And then I didn't put them on. Rig not assembled. Well, why not? You know what I'm trying here. Is that the one with the... Yeah. Alright. Now we'll see if we catch something. I mean, we can go eight-legged freaks. It's fine. <laughs> Just don't go don't that don't go to that shopping mall when the eight legged freaks all come out. That's it it's fine. It's fine. Oh guys. Oof. Looking for fishies. Look, we were doing good, and then all of a sudden it just went, nope. Oh, see, you got to complain, guys. That's all you got to do. Just complain. <laughs> Why ain't I catching any fish? Here you go. Nice. Nice char, nice char. Let's go. Let's keep this up. Oop, didn't mean to crank it out hard. You find out works to join, you just sit there and cry a little bit. I do. I cry a lot, and then they just start giving me fish. Sometimes it's it's small fish. Some sometimes it's small fish, but it's still fish. I'm like, oh yeah, here, just you know, have a little bit here, have a little bit there. The chars are coming out fairly nice though. Well, at least your stuff's safe. At least your stuff is safe. Ah, Sam, I want to join the party. Party. <laughs> I I honestly don't know anybody that that you know fishes for rough for baits for bait fish. I never specifically aimed for for a rough. Ooh, another another salmon. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? Whoa, whoa. Calm down. Calm down. You gotta cast it further, but not that far. <laughs> somehow. Somehow. The old roughs. Um... Any any t any any time I go to donuts, I, I like I said, I basically drift, so it costs me nothing, well, except for a boat ticket. I buy a boat ticket, and I, you know, usually for about three days because I drift. I drift at least once fully down the river and then troll up.
it's not really productive to do all the donuts row it's not very productive to do anymore since they nerfed Iraqi rig you used to be able to make about you know pretty close to 300 silver an hour doing that you, you, you don't really make that anymore so basically you're just either a doing it for fun or be just trying to fill out some cards yeah I, I, I got it I, I, I know it's a, it's a different species you you can also get that species not at uh, I believe you can get it at another body of water in this game I believe I don't know which one but I know you can get it at another body of water <laughs> Uh. Boom, 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 boom. What, what are you telling me, Streamlabs? What are you telling me? From me, gamer as sub. But I got that notification hours ago. But thanks anyway, Brum. I know you're. I know you popped in today. <laughs> Streamlabs being Streamlabs. One day they'll get with the times. One day. These chars are coming out for. Oh, yes. Getting the spin fishing up, too. Oh, I like salmon. Who doesn't like salmon? We all like salmon. I like them a little bigger, but, you know, I take what I get, right? And that's, that's how we go. And my allergies are so wonky today. Whew. Ah. Like Mista? I don't know. I, I would never compare myself to Mista. Mista's got like, what, almost 900 subs now? Uh, no, this is this is this is what I do. I stream and I make I make a couple vids, a uh, highlights, and uh, yeah, we are. I, I'm growing awfully quick, um, thanks to the basically the RF4 community. Um, I got some some people like Plangier and stuff that uh, I knew from Twitch that uh, when I was playing tanks, uh, and uh, actually we met on Iron Conflict, I believe. And uh, a few of those guys followed me over here. We, uh... I, RF4 is uh, pretty... It's a really tight community. It's a really good community. I... I used to stream it when I was on Twitch a little bit, but not too often, but I streamed uh, other avenues when I was on Twitch, and I, I, I sort of started to, I don't want to be like a, you know, five, six game a week guy, alright brother, hey, thanks for stopping by, appreciate you man, uh, hopefully, uh, you can we can both find a decent game and maybe maybe we'll uh, smack it together uh, whenever that happens that'd be great <laughs> yep hey we'll see you later but yeah now we I, I've had people follow me over from twitch uh, a few and uh, you know between RF4 world of tanks world of tanks have also I got I got some subs for world of tanks um, we I don't know. We, I think I like to think we got a variety of people here. Probably, probably, I want to say, sixty percent are RF4 though. Maybe slightly more, because I have been streaming it more lately than anything else. Just because, um, quite frankly, ooh, that's nice. Quite frankly, I am tired of a lot of other games, so I 
just been playing RF4 probably 90% of the time. I couldn't tell you. I'll be honest with you, I don't do a lot of promo. Um, I just don't. Even, even the uh, chat I'm in, only some of them know I actually stream. I'm, I was part of another streamer's community on this game. So, the best thing you could do is just make content, man, to be honest with you. It's kind of a little bit, um, I wouldn't say easier, but, you know, right now, you don't, as long as you have a title and a good description on YouTube, it's a little easier to get uh, at least your video out there than it used to be, which is kind of reason why I, d I decided to come over from Twitch that and I, I really I like twitch I do it just rough to I like when I have my videos right there and they last for a while I'm only an affiliate on twitch so my videos only lasted like 90 days <laughs> you can brag if you want it, it it's just not my style it's not my style I, I like to prop other people up and uh you know I believe in what if I, if I put out you know just chilling and hanging and you know as long as you respond to everybody and I think that's a big thing you know don't 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 try to be above anyone else you just you know the views will come the views you know you can't I don't I don't judge myself on views the views will come you know but they're not going to come if you don't do it by a member of our you mean like a what a dev team of rf4 like elwood and all them worminator i know all them guys get noticed by them because they hang out with the Twitch streamers. They don't hang out with us YouTube streamers. <laughs> when I when I when I was when I streamed on uh Oh, uh, when I used to stream on Twitch, I used to see them a lot. And ever since I switched to YouTube, I, they don't ever pop into my stream like they used to. Yeah, you, you can only get noticed if uh you make content. But if you're sitting there worried about getting views and all, that's 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 really not the name of the game, and you'll burn yourself out early. You know. That that that's the main thing. I I recommend just doing what you you like to do to enjoy what you're doing just for fun, and um, you know. When you get people to come in, like I get people to come in all the time, like Plangier, um, like you're kind of doing now, you know, it, it's 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 nice to, you know, I got a lot of regulars who just pop in. Sometimes they'll pop in just to say hi. They won't even stay the whole stream, but you know, those 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 people are are, are nice, and that's what you're looking. You're looking to build a community, not just a bunch of viewers, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this uh, stupid Dodger lore and go back to the Satori. I, I, I have never really focused on viewers. I, I do what I do and I appreciate everybody for their support. Um, but I, I just do what I enjoy to do and I, I just want to be surrounded by the same people who like to do the same things I do whether it be fish whether it be play tanks whether just to sit around and just play a bunch of different video games <laughs> oh yeah um if if I had to guess like probably a lot of my subs found me through those highlights right um, if you was to queue up, you know, a, 
how how the people found my channel it was it was through the highlights it wasn't so yeah some people found me through streams however a lot you know seen like my blue tag for example a bulk, the bulk of a bulk of people either a started with my blue tag trophy or the ones i've been getting lately have been hitting up the three trophies at amber i had that twice in uh two days and then i had another two sets um the eastern siberian sturge kind of uh brought in some people you, you get people uh a lot with the highlights that's that is true But the, but the nice thing about streaming is <laughs> that that is true, Dijon. Uh, it, it, that is true. I, uh, but even when I had a lot of people, I tried to keep up with chat. That's also kind of like why I like this fishing game as well. And as soon as I find my spinner, I can go back. Here it is. Um, one of the main reasons I like having this fishing game is because I does give me the ability to read chat and do things. It's a little more difficult to read chat if you're playing a first person shooter game. I, I will say that. So if I'm playing a first person shooter game. It's a little hard for me to peek around corners, lean to, lean to, listen, 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 fire, shoot, shoot, and and to read chat all at the same time. You, and and but right there, he hit the nail on the head. You know, chat interaction, and I can't say I try to interact with everybody who makes a comment on my videos. I really, really enjoy interacting with every single buddy. And I think Mista does a really good job at that as well. Um, let's face it, Mista does a good job. I mean, he would not have almost 900 uh, subs if he did not interact with his community. Yeah, um, if they're spamming stuff, yeah. But you know what I had on Twitch? Um, when you get to that, that level, Dijon, like, I had moderators on Twitch. So if people start spamming stuff, my mods would just nip it. I mean, you can, you can do that on YouTube as well. And when I say nip it, I mean just give them, you know, like a timeout for X amount of seconds. So, yeah, yeah, Mr. this is a really nice guy. I jump in his streams all the time. Um, that's another thing, you know, you, you're watching my stream, but I watch a lot of other people's streams as well, you know. When I'm not streaming, chances are I have, like, if Mista up, or I even have people that speak not English up. Even though I don't understand them, I can still sit there and watch where they're fishing and, you know, give them a thumbs up and stuff when they catch a decent fish. <laughs> yeah, he, he said he was 32 or 34 the other day. See, I was in that stream. I was there. <laughs> I was there. In fact, I think I think I think Dijon was there, and I think Mesca was Mesk was there as well. Sometimes I'm in his stream and I don't say anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm lurk. I'm always lurking. <laughs> or sometimes I'm at work sometimes I'm at work and I can't interact I'll have him up on my phone
Oh, I can't wait to get a wire. I'm going to put my wireless headset in tonight. I was trying to hook it up before the stream, and then stuff started getting complicated. My, you know, mic started acting a little wonky, so I decided just to wait until after stream and get it sorted. Well, and another thing is, um, <laughs> and then once you get a, and then you know, once you get older, really no one cares. They're just like, oh, he's just another gray beard. <laughs> he's just another old ass hat. I I smoked way too many cigarettes in my life for for my voice to. Uh, sound young which, which which I don't anymore so I haven't smoked in like two years so it's but man I used to I used to put them away when I was younger uh. oh a brown trout that's something new and exciting And, and and the thing would uh with miss as well i mean he he does rf4 he does fishing he has like three different fishing videos he does every week he does the adam fishing he does the well actually he does fishing planet he does the fisher plus he does rf4 uh yeah it's i i, I hated it i basically smoked from the time i was 14 all the way up until i was about 43 and if I think about the money I spent on cigarettes, I'm I'm not happy about it <laughs> well, Ironically enough, you know, I, I, I stopped smoking and that's when I had my third heart attack. So I Stopped smoking for about a year. Well, maybe it was six months and then I had my third one so I think I, I think it was nature's way of telling me that I need to just stop altogether. So I, I did just make a firm commitment to stop and we haven't been down that path again. I'm from the USA, yep. Yep, I am from the USA. Pennsylvania. And Mista is from Canada. <laughs> if you're looking for new, I'm, uh, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's actually cheap compared to how much they are here. Here they're you're you're probably talking eight to ten dollars a pack, depending on what you buy. So because of all of our taxes and stuff. So we're we're paying almost double what you're you're paying. So think about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's even crazier, huh? And then when I lived when I would lived overseas, um they came in packs of 25. Where here they come in packs of 20 or a pack of 20. How how many's in one of your got one of your packs? 
So now I know when I was in Germany, they were like Marlboros were like in packs of twenty fives. Perch. <laughs> oh, I thought I had it bad, and then someone's talking about a 192-gram mirror cart. Oh, my. Poor bastard. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I always thought it was funny, you know. I, I would uh, buy, because I was in the military, so I'd buy smokes on base, and they were like, packs of, you know they were like ours they were our 20 packs but if i went out to the local areas the marlboros were uh in a 25 pack <laughs> yeah i wouldn't smoke in australia either i think i would have quit long ago if i was uh an australian smoker I mean, it's, it doesn't feel like we're we're getting a lot of bad fish. I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop at the dock and uh, take a peek. Next time we get back that way. Ah, uh, see, I put the satori back on, and now I'm back to catching fish. So that that's that's the secret right there. Man, these things pull them out like butter. <laughs> yeah, good deal, good deal. Always a tench spot in old bird. Whether it's active or not, they do. Um, I don't know where the active spot is, though. Why don't you bream? It's about nighttime. <laughs> Just like Bear Lake, there's always a spot for uh, tension, golden tension, but where's that spot? Huh? Oh, stupid fish. Yeah, you stupid fish. Well, that's why I keep alternating my hooks. Because, you know, you know, I keep flipping around them 79 silver hooks on these lures. You see the way that thing went down? What? That's an Arctic. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
Get up here. What are you doing? Get in here. Ooh, Taman. Nice. Uh, well, I guess I should get some energy built up. Here, let me, uh, I'm going back to the dock. Let's see how much my, my silver, my silver ridge is. Then I'll, uh, go get another cup of coffee, boys, because I'm out. What's away? Um, look. If this is indication. I, I, I am, I am in no, uh, I don't like cooking a whole heck of a lot. Like, if, if I need energy while I'm reeling in, um, I will just basically drink three coffees, and that base, I can, it'll build my energy even with me reeling. I'm, I'm a, I'm a coffee and tea sort of guy. If you look, look, look at all these thermoses of coffee and tea. I make pancakes and stuff just to every once in a while I, I'll sustain my level but for the most part I uh, I like to do the uh, old uh, coffee and tea uh, yeah I, I still make coffee and tea I tell that's about all I make every once in a while I make uh, pancakes yeah, half the time I don't even worry about my energy. Like, now I just was like, well, I'll, I'll build it up. Just, And you drink the tea to build it up, it gets your comfort up and stuff. But, um, apparently he's going for a ride. Yeah, happy hour helps with your cooking. Happy hour. Always do anything skill related during happy hour. Like, if you want to do your lures, make lures during happy hour. If you want to work on your harvesting baits, do that during happy hour. Oh, do you... All right, let me explain. If you have premium, you have a happy hour. I'm, I, I'm sorry, man. We got, we, got a, we got ahead of ourselves. <laughs> so, so every day you have a happy hour... If you if you're a premium member, most most of us just have pre. I don't even know why I have premium. I just yeah. So every time you actively engage something like the first whatever during your day, you have like a happy hour where you get bonuses, and that's when that's usually when we do our skills. That's when we do our skills. All right. Yeah, uh, fish market. Five, 582, that ain't too bad. I, I can't really complain about that. An hour and 15 minutes for 582. I mean, I, I've had better, but I've had a lot worse, too. Yay, 20. So about an hour... A little more than an hour, 15 minutes. We got a 582. Yeah, we don't have all the purchase. Tongue, muskin. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Wait, how much is the purchase in the cafe? 12 silver. I ain't want to worry about saving purchase in. Debris on Volk. <laughs> what, what are you fishing for? The bream? The blue bream? I, I still have yet to catch a blue bream. Alright, so here's 582. That was a nice that was a nice little run. Nice little run, guys. So that just took me up to 769. Because I had to spend money to come here. And look, there's actually if I go out here, guess what? I seen my pull go down when I was standing on the dock. <laughs> There's another seven seven silver I just yeeted right out of the water. 
All right, guys, let me get something to drink. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Oh, sorry about that, fellas. Had to take care of something real quick. Oh, what did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> trophies, trophies everywhere. Hey, tro trophies are... I think I'm going to just keep going the same spot. It's debating if I should just go to the 12 hole, but you know what? I'm doing so damn good in the 11 here. I'm just I'm just going to keep going until uh the game just says no. Why'd you give me number 2? That was really weird. Oh my. Jeez, don't cast me. I got my coffee. Now I'm all like, ah, I gotta get my coffee. Alright. We're back under control, guys. We're back under control. Let's go. Let's go back up to 11. Hey, Robert. What, what, yeah. Yeah, hold on, brother. What line I'm using? I'm just using her common. I'm just, I'll hook you up. Nothing fantastic here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Oh, yeah, I took. No, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. <laughs> uh. I, I, it don't matter. I, I'm going to stick to my braid. I get a lot more line on it. It's perfectly fine. I, I've I've had braid on my tagars for a long, long time, and uh, the wear on the the mech isn't nearly that. Uh, yeah, it's you, you're gonna get wear wear. You're gonna get wear. Believe me, um, RF4 does a lot of wear, but. <laughs> <laughs> by time you by time you notice it I'll, I'll be honest with you um it's it's a moot point yo 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 what's up brian um yeah i don't like to give up my line i'd rather do slightly more damage i'm i'm okay with that <laughs> i'm all right <laughs> nice, 115 gram. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, no, you're good. I'll search you up. Yeah, I haven't played for quite a while either. I came back to the game recently uh, myself. Um, but for the damage, uh, RF4 increased the damage value all around anyway. And to be blunt, if, if we're going to go about, oh, it does slightly more wear. I'm j I just, 
it just don't bother me because if I got enough money to um, use the uh, use them, then uh, I just I just it's a moot point. I just repair them. <laughs> I haven't noticed a, a big diff anyway. I I misspelled that. Yep. Lake trout. You liked your quarry. That's a nice fat arctic char. Got a blue. That's always good to see. <laughs> Broke some reels. So, so, so you donated to the tackle shop. But it's all it's all good. I, I have I have one as well. Ooh, that ought to be good money. Can I rate your profile? What? All right, all right, Wood. Hold on. Let me let me take let me let me let me take a look at you. <laughs> I, I didn't know I was doing RF4 profile ratings, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see how you do. Let's see how you stack up. It's about it's about 3 a.m. So we're about in the prime fishing territory. So let's we'll do we'll do a little quickie here. Hold on. We just cast out here. Where, where are you at? Where are you at, Wood? You're you're Gus, right? Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's, let's take a look. Oh no, you're not Gus. Wait, what, what, what's, your, what's your name in game? Oh man, you're not making it easy on me. <laughs> let's let's see let's see if it'll global search you with that. There you are. All right, let's let's take a quick look. So you got you got uh, Old Berg Honey Doe. I mean that's that's pretty good for level 19, 14 kilogram. That's not bad. Lake Trout. So you did some time at Quarry. Yeah, I I I put two and two together as soon as I clicked your name. I was like ah. Uh, um, Tench. That's 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 not bad. That's not bad. This eel's really nice. I I don't even have that. Uh, got nine. Oh, three broken reels. So, uh, so by now you broke three reels. All right, see you later, Roberto. So now uh, you broke three reels. So you realize that you made your reel the weakest point. Which is never a good thing, right? Oh, I'm going for it, brother. I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm going for any trophy. Oh, yeah. I'll go back to yours. All right, Gus. I got you. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me just start trolling here, guys. We, or am, I, am I trolling? Yeah, I'm trolling. Okay. Am I heading the right direction? Yeah, uh, that's always the important question to ask. Am I heading the right direction? Yeah, I, I sort of am. All right. Very good. Okay. So 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 right now you 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 learned that you broke three reels. Right. Nobody nobody ever learns. Uh we just hope that you learn, you know, over time. You know, that that's how they they, they expect you to go buy stuff at the uh thing. Now we're to Gus. See, he learned really quick. I actually I he's actually better than me because I only had I had zero rods and one reel. 
I actually broke a rod the other day because I wasn't paying attention with a bamboo uh, with a bamboo rod because I was bait fishing and I ended up breaking it. But so he learned real quick not to break rods, not to break reels. Grass carp's really nice. I, you're a man after my own heart. I love pike. I love pike. Um, yeah, grass carp. Oh, we are very similar. We are very similar. Did you see what your maximum experience fish is? 13, right? So look, I, I broke that rod the other day or we'd have been close. But I do have two blues. But look, look what's my biggest amount. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bellow. Yeah, the bellow. Yeah, I could take a look. We're, we're, we're just, we're just, we're, we're gonna look up everybody's account. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna peep them out. We're gonna peep them out. I, I love, I, I love bellow fishing. What is that? C or L? Or is that an I? Joe. Must be an I. Where's that it? Is that 73? I could check your house. Alright. Fully Yeah, of course you're fully loaded. I I know you're fully loaded. Oh, boys. 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 We'll, we'll get back to that in a second. <laughs> oh, now you're going to come right up. You're an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Uh, I, I'll get it. I'll get it here in a second. Taman. He just was squatted on the bottom. Not a big deal. All right. So you were the last one. 73. But, but you were 71. Are you 71 or 73? Well, 73 has only two reels in it. Black carp. Oh, that's. I love black carp. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I got you. Uh, gibble carp. Uh, that's interesting float fish. This black carp's really nice. Uh, it's a very beautiful black carp. Very beautiful black carp. Good XP as well. Oh, salmon is your biggest amount of silver. Yeah, salmon, salmon do bring in some nice silver. That'll change. That'll change. Twenty-six trophies. I mean, that's that's fairly good. Look, this this is look. You have as many blue tags as I do. Where's Mask? Where is that darn Mask? How come he does not have a? Hold on, we'll get to him here in a second. I, I like busting his chops because he likes to flex all the time. Six broken rods, so, you know, ho hopefully you learned on that one. Hopefully, hopefully you learned on that one. Am I lagging? It says my connection's good. So, I I'm not sure if it's, it's YouTube messing with you or uh, me. Taman is uh, good. That's a nice size Taman. That 
That is uh so you're you also have an Atlantic salmon, but that is a beefy Atlantic salmon coming in. That's bigger than my Atlantic salmon. My Atlantic salmon was a 20 point something, my biggest. So that's actually fairly nice. Let me see if I caught anything, guys. Uh, I got one. Let me bring it in. And, and and just because he is not here, Alf. Oh, oof. Okay. And just because he ain't here, I'm gonna mess with him. All right. So, Mr. Mask. Mr. Mask. I mean, Mask has definitely had some broken rules. He's, he's had he's had real problems. Um, he has not caught a blue. I mean, me and Fully Loaded have, you know, shown the way of catching blues. <laughs> that's a nice, uh, that's a nice black carp, though. He's got a nice Russian sturgeon, I will, I will say that. It almost makes me want to go fish Russian sturgeon. But he's gonna, he's gonna start putting some of these, uh, to shame here real soon, Fully. Um, so mesca has got himself a TI rod and, and two Vangas now, so, you know, he's going to start going for bigger fish. Yeah. So, I I don't rate profiles. I really don't. I tell you, your, yours yours was yours was fairly good. Uh, you got a you got a lot. You got a good base going. Um, look, don't don't put too much stock into profiles. I'll be honest with you. Not me. Not me. You know why? You, you, you know why, Dijon? Why I say I would not ha rather have two Vengas and two TIs? Because here's the deal. Just as I have two blue tag trophies as well. You can always, you can always buy the TI rods and Vengas. You may never get a blue tag. So by you having the two blue tags, some people may never get two blue tags and they nobody can take that away from you so i would rather have the blue tags personally look i got a blue tag stupid uh crucian and a blue tag uh mirror and i i to this day i'd rather have the blue tags every everybody uh what would you do if you had t ti's and vengas would you actually go beluga fishing Oh, we're starting to dry out. I might have to go try the, the uh, 12 hole. Oh, there we go. Yeah, um, because quite frankly, I, I know everyone likes to bust my chops as, as you. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, but still nobody can take those blues away. I know everybody likes to bust my chops because I do different. I actually do a lot of different real combinations and stuff. Um, just like, you know, I've, I've had that it wasn't the first time people's told me to buy a Barracuda. I don't want a Barracuda, not, at least not yet. Uh, I like these. These are my new trolling rods, and I'm going to stick with these for a very long time. Um, that's, just, that's just the way it goes. Sometimes it pays to be a little different. There's literally a thousand rod and reel combinations, so guys, please, please don't fall for the meta. I enjoy my Tagar so much. I don't even care if I get a Vanga at this point. Um, a Vanga for me is a little bit of overkill for the fishing I like to do. Now, does that mean the new map isn't going to want me to buy a Vanga? No, I mean, it might drive me to buy a Vanga. Um, 
I'll be honest. I mean, I fish for Sturge a lot. I... Gopher, you, you've seen I caught that Eastern Siberian Sturge. It was 97 kilograms with this Tagara right here on Tungsten. Uh, you, you, can, you can do that. It, it took me, what, an hour and a half for 97 kilogram? You can do that. I, I, in fact, if I had mole crickets, I would probably go for Russian sturge. Because I don't really have that. Oh, okay. But, but see, and that's the difference. I know you're thinking Vanga now. But, in truth be told, when you have three, if you have three Tagaras like I have, you'll see why I'm not in a rush for a Vanga. These, these three Tagaras are just amazing. And as you can see, I use them for literally everything, right? I use them for my spin fish and I use them for my feeder rods. Um, I use them for everything. And they are my workhorse for fishing. So I basically just build my rods around my Tagaras. That's a nice pike, boys. Woo! Nice pike. Nice. You're getting close. Getting close to that level. And once you get the three Tagars, I think probably it's a huge weight off of you when you get three Tagars. Especially when you get, if, if you're like me and have these three carp rods, if you have these three carp rods and three Tagars, it's a huge weight off of you. Hey, congrats on the 20... Gotta love it. Hit that 20. Where can you go different now that you're 20? I forget. And and I also... <laughs> get that some fish. And I use super duties for trolling with my Tagaras up until the point I bought these black heavens. Uh, because, because Oscar, I went from, <laughs> oh yeah, Volk, yeah, yeah, go to Volk. Yeah, Oscar, I had a uh, 3K and then I went to seven and a half and then I bought a second black edition of the, uh, so I, I do have the three, two black editions on my trolling rods now. So now we're just going to start start saving up silver for something different. Probably I was looking at um, some reels. I'm probably going to make a carp rod next. A carp rod slash uh, bait caster. one gold eight. look there's no shame no shame look i got uh right, look i had i had mares nobody ran mares i ran three of those i have golds where did i just put that one yesterday i was making something i don't even remember i had gold 60s i had two gold 60s <laughs> oh my hey let me tell you to once you have them three tagaras man it's it like i said if you if you can get him into these these carp rods and them three tagaras it makes life so much easier 
And like I said, I ran, hell, I ran these super duties into the ground. I couldn't even tell you how many fish I caught off of these super duties with my Tagaras. I'm just, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I only wanted these rods just because I wanted the rods. It is nothing, you know, nobody's like, hey, buy these rods. It was like, oh, I like the looks of these rods. They give me plus two to wobbler, you know. The weight on them's really nice for my tagars. Let me, let me get these. <laughs> I'm to that point now where I have my basics covered and now I'm just buying stuff I want I'll, I'll be honest I, I don't know if you're gonna get another stepping stone quite as good as the Tagara these Tagaras are like the ultimate I can catch what I want to catch I can make really good silver with them I don't really flow fish at Volk. I mean, I'll, I'll be blunt about Volk. They, you can do good eel fishing there. Um, you can do some burbot fishing. But almost everybody trolls that map. Almost everybody trolls that map. Six, 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 I think it's six silver 90 for a five-day boat ticket. And you just sit there and troll in between islands and you're just going to make a shit ton of money at your level. I don't, of course, I don't even know what reels you have. That might be a bad idea. <laughs> that might be a bad idea. But at least you'd be in a boat to chase them. Oh, float fishing? Yeah. Look, I, I'm going to be honest and you guys will see here. Look, you're higher than me. You know what I what I do with flow fishing? The only reason this skill is up is me getting bleak. I get bleak to fish bellows. Perlista. <laughs> that is that's the only reason I have any float skill. Look, it was so bad at one point. I was like, oh, I want a match rod. So I bought this. And the only reason I bought this rod was to give me, you know, the um, to be able to use a match rig. Because I, I hated to use the telescopic forever. I'm, I'm sort of getting it, you know, to the point where I will use the telescopic now. Not too bad. Hey, our fish slowed down, guys. So let me, let me, uh. I think I might just keep driving to the 12 hole and see what we get there. It's going to start cooling down too good. Um, Volkoff lures, look at look look at the weeklies. What are you fishing for? I mean, if you're if you're doing lure fishing, I mean, basically everybody just goes off of Atlantic salmon. What else is there? You get Atlantic salmon at. Oh wait, you're spin fishing. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DP crank that blue that blue DP crank works really well. <laughs> yeah i at i'm not i'm not really good at a telescopic rod i i i just i just don't like him i don't know he's looking he's basically he's trying to look for something for spin fishing and you don't want to catch anything monstrous either dijon he just hit level 20 so i'm, I'm going to assume he, he don't have like the best gear yet
I used to watch Undead sit there and, and troll Volkov with sabers. <laughs> watch them salmon. Them salmon used to eat his friction like it was going out of style. <laughs> Oh, boy. So 11 kind of died. I'm going to come over here and try to hit 12 a little bit, and we'll see if a bite rate don't pick up a little bit. Probably because the sun's out. Yeah, that, well, that's what I was telling him. Now, I know there's an eel spot on the other dock. Um, other than that, I, I really don't know a lot of land spots for Volkov. Uh, Tung, hey, what's going on, Val? Um, Tung was really good. I made a lot of silver like the first hour, and then it kind of just slowed down. I was just fishing the 11 hole. It kind of slowed up. I don't know if it's the sun or what, so I'm just going to kind of just work my way over to the 12 and see how the 12's uh, going to treat me. I'm basically using... Uh, the satori on my third come on you little fish stupid pink salmon the satori on uh my third pole and then i'm running uh two different balsas on each of these i'm running the blue balsa and the uh one that's in the weeklies on the other we the bite rate was really well i i probably made what what did i make guys it was only like 600 silver i think in a little over an hour the first hour this this last probably like 30 minutes hasn't been great so we're, go, we're gonna go over here we're gonna we're gonna hit the 12 hole see if it picks up any yeah yeah this 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 satori is not bad um what DP crank air you're you're a Volkov, so um, there's two that are hot right now. Oh, they're, the blue one's always hot, but the yellow is DP crank six zero zero three is what's in the weeklies, but this blue one here is always good. It's always good. Oh, your house? I didn't go to your house. Yeah, I did. I did forget to check your house. I went into your profile, but I didn't go to your house. All right, hold on. Just let me make sure I'm under control. And when I come back, I better have fish. All right, let's go, let's check. Oh, nope, I can't do it while I'm in a boat. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I don't like it. And I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i tell you why I don't like it. I have three of them. So I think I am pretty knowledgeable. And you can see I used the living daylights out of them. All right, Wood. Um, I used them for quite a long time. But keep in mind, that was when I had nothing else. That was when the Everest 2 was still the king of the reels. Alexandra! Yeah, I can I could try to make some guides. I'm not really good at making guides, but I could try to make some guides. Keep in mind, you know, a lot of guides are, you know, purely, purely opinion. Uh, I mean, unless you're doing like a basic guide. I, I don't like the thing I don't like about a lot of the guides is they recommend one particular thing, even though six works. Um, but going back to the mirror LTDs, the thing that kills this reel right here is the spool size. It's the spool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, the spool size is the killer for this reel and it's very painful i would not recommend the mare what i would recommend truthfully is if you just went from an alpha a narga or caliber 
and just jump straight for a Tagara. I, I'm just I'm just being serious. The mare is not a good middle of the road reel. I know it's only like 6k, but well, it used to be anyway. But it really was not a good stepping stone for me. I used them, but they it it wasn't nearly as efficient as I wanted it to be. Yeah, I I, I mean I, I can do it. I can do it. Yeah, I can I I mean I have no problem. There's a lot of good there's a there's a lot of good guides out there. Um to be honest. Uh when I first started playing this game, which was a long, long time ago, um the two people I well it used to be damp and it used to be KP Shimino. Um M Dog basically took over a lot of the guide stuff. Well, for the English side, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I can put some a little bit of freshness out there. I uh, maybe I'll wait till after the new river comes out to see what else is out there. But I, I mean, I, I wouldn't. Uh, I could probably do that. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I know, yeah. I, I, I mean, if you're making a guide, to, you know, you, you kind of want it to be short. Because basically anybody who's going to a guide just wants to see what's going on. And uh, there isn't, there hasn't been a lot of new information, though, to be honest. Yeah, 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 I guess so. A lot of them, I guess, I guess a lot are, are outdated. I mean, I haven't really kept up. I'll be, I'll be honest, I'm one of the older guys. I don't really keep up with guides too much. I just kind of, kind of do my own thing, if you haven't noticed. I mean, <laughs> people tell me all the time, why do you use that rod and reel combination? Because it works. Um, <laughs> that's the only thing I tell them. <laughs> because it works, you know, uh, people will get very opinionated about the uh, equipment, and I, I really don't, I, it don't bother me, just like you see, I, I was, I showed you guys, I had three Mare LTDs, there's not any, anybody else in the world's going to show you that they actually use three Mare LTD twos, I probably was the only one that was silly enough to buy three of these and actually make them work, to what I needed them to do, and I did not like. Um, Val, it's we look for the weather. To be honest with you, there, there's two things I look for for active fish. All right, one I look at the weather, and two I ask my community, and three there's a couple people out there who. Uh, you know, just posting discords and stuff. I did use a mare on amber and it was painful because of the spool size. I used, I'll, I'll be honest, I used a mare in tuba. And it was, it was, it was painful. I have, and, and I, I, I own an alpha it's a nice it's a nice reel i'll never say anything negative about an alpha a narga or a caliber because they're all really good in their own way um caliber i believe has the largest reel size i don't own a caliber or narga my missus owns a narga um and her nargas work really well um under tagara you know uh my missus, she uses her Narga at uh, Tuba, or uh, she actually fishes Tuba and Amber. She hasn't came into too much of a tough spot because, quite frankly, uh, she's not into PVA. So I think if she used PVA, she'd be a little more in danger. Um, but she, is, she has actually got... 
if you're fishing amber, you can fish the pond in amber with no problems at all because you just block it from going out the, the, the one way. Kind of like everybody did at Oldberg. Do you know what I mean? So everybody used the boot in Oldberg and kept the grass, the grass uh, all in that little area. Uh, you can do the same with um, the pond. You just go to the one area. In fact, Tuba also has a pond. That's where you see everybody catching buffaloes. You can also use that in the uh, Tuba pond for the grass carp buffaloes. And I think it, there's occasionally big heads in there as well. Oh, you can use it in the pond. Oh, not for pond. Um... Yeah, no, spin fishing spool. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Chase it with your boat. Chase it with your boat. <laughs> yeah, you can actually, Eva has a really uh, big spool. The, prob the problem with Amber is there's not a whole hell of a lot that, it's such a big map though. It's such a really big map. But if you're down, and I don't have the map, if I, maybe if I bring it up. I can try to bring it up. But if you're down in the southeast corner, where 124, or what was the other hot spot, 169. If you're down there, you can actually go left with the fish, like right away, and drive them towards the right bank. And you're safe there. The problem is if they get away from that little area, there's like a little chunk down in Amber, down in the southeast. If they get out into the main lake, then you're gonna you're gonna have problems. It, man, the fish just slowed down here like badly. And that, that's where you're gonna be at. What game is this? Russian Fishing 4! Russian Fishing 4. <laughs> so we're not even getting anything in a 12 hole, so. It was the. Probably, I don't know. The only difference is it was sun it was sunshine. It looks like we're gonna have a couple nice days, Val. If you're still here, Val, it looks like we're gonna have enough. Like these days here, where it gets colder, it's going to be nice. I didn't even... Where, where are you fishing at today? I am just trolling for Arctic char. Um, Nelma's, a little pink salmon. Anything that's going to give me a little bit of silver. That is a tiny, tiny, tiny fish. Tiny. So... Val, are you tr are, are you still with us? If if you're uh, like if you're looking at amber, for me, Amber Lake always does good when it's sunny and like anywhere from twenty one to twenty three degrees usually. Um, Bear Lake's total opposite. Bear Lake, I do really good if it's cloudy at Bear Lake. Every every lake body's a little different. There is no crappy in this game. There is no crappy. Just like there is no bass. They have a lot of carp. They have a lot of... Uh, where are you at? Yeah, let's go here. This is all the fish you can catch in the game. So you do have some brown trout. You, you have a lot of carp in this game. And a lot of different breams. And uh, you got a lot of sturge fish. Oh, this is just for Tunguska. I need to go to weekly. Well, let me check my pools. Let me get my pools real quick. A little baby brown trout. Get off my lawn. Uh, yeah, well, ma mainly fish that you're going to catch, you know, 
A lot of a lot of European fish and stuff. Yeah. So if I get a weeklies, not just this river. So you got catfish. I mean, you got chars, asps, Atlantic salmon's. Here, here you got sturgeons, belugas, carps, carps, uh, bream. If you like bream fishing, some brown trout, some burbots. They got a lot of nice, a mixed bag of everything. And a lot of smaller fish. Uh, then here's, you got some barbels, you got carps, you got roaches. So there is definitely a lot of fish to be had at this, at this game. So do not hesitate. I mean, even, even a lot of rarer fish. The list seems to, to grow. And, and they keep adding maps and stuff, so it grows with each map as well. Alright, I'm going back to the 11 hole because that one didn't do me any better. Yeah, if you're looking for bass and stuff, they haven't implemented that yet. I don't know if they will. Um, it'd be nice. We've been asking for it. I mean, you can spin fish, troll, float fish, bottom fish. Basically, you can do all kind of fishing. Fly fishing to be announced. <laughs> I'm not even going to make that as a prediction for the next map. If you want, if you want to do fly fishing, try to fish her online that one actually has fly fishing it's not bad i just prefer the uh regular fishing in this game hmm Yeah, you can, but back on our real conversation, Alex, you can try the, the EVA. There, there's no wrong real. I would recommend just staying away from anything that's going to have a small spool. Like them to, like them mares I had, they, they, they put up a good fight, but the, the spool size is just ridiculous. Really ridiculous. I mean, 0.28 at 223. I, I think my alpha could hold more than the uh, the mare. <laughs> it definitely do, has a very small spool. That that was the one biggest complaint I I had on that 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 reel. But at the time, we did not have nearly the options as reels as you guys have today. When I stopped playing the first time, basically the alpha was just came out. It was like one of the premier reels that came out. And then uh, I got that and I had gold 60s. That's what got me through my 14 uh, kg. So believe me, when I upgraded from my gold 60s to the mares, yes, it was a big difference. However, after playing um, with... My old lady has Nargas, and I put, uh, I think it was 20, I think it was 22.8 kilogram line on hers. I would have probably have went that route instead. But, like I said, you also have calibers to look at. You also have, there, there's so many options. So many options nowadays. Don't, don't think you're confined with just one option. Yeah. See, I didn't even have gold 80s. I had uh I had gold 60s. I they're, they're floating around here somewhere. I don't even want to know where that 
that crap reel is. It's 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 floating somewhere. I threw it on on a something yet. What what's this? There, I had gold sixties. Here they are. They're hiding. They're hiding. <laughs> so so this this here. These two and this represented my my fourteen kilogram uh, days when I was younger, lower level. So so going from that to the merit, yes, it was great. It was it was glorious. You know, anything to get out of them gold sixties. But did I notice a huge difference from my alpha to the to the mares? Not really. Not not enough to to warrant spending money on the mare. <laughs> the same keep in mind would i'm going to tell you this the salmon or the grass carp of volkov all right when they hit you they're going to run no matter what i mean you don't have that that strong of equipment so You're getting silver very slowly. Where are you at? Oh, uh, tongue actually slowed down today, so it, it wasn't nearly as productive. Well, I've been BSing too, so <laughs> don't don't let me, don't let me uh, talking. And uh, I was looking up everybody's profiles there for a while. No, don't, don't don't let that dissuade you from tongue. Let's see how today transpires. Oh. Come on, get in here. Get in here, get in here, get in here. I got one is in. Yeah, this is very slow. Ooh, nice pike. He buy what? Oh, did you like it? I was actually reading the text and I got something with this rod. Nice. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Not a whole, I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. Another pike. Nice. Nice. He did what? He 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 uh he only fishes Balea. He bought three calibers. Well that don't make that in a three uh, kg reel. I, I, I don't know how much because uh, I always just turn in a bag it's it's not gonna be that much but it'll be it'll be silver for you keep trolling get a bunch more take it back <laughs> uh, yeah it's not it's not gonna be earth shattering salmon don't start giving really good money till about 10 kilogram well. Ten and over. You'll get there. You'll get there. Nah, it just takes time, man. Don't stress out. You'll get there. We were all there once. See, I, I don't even... Oh, 
Well, you're talking about he bought the three calibers with a default light rod and a three kilogram reel. Is that what you mean? Hey, how's it going, Aiden? Is is that what you mean? Yeah, and Belay, you want a light setup. How's it going, Aiden? How are you doing today? Probably the biggest problem with Belay is you need something to cast out the light lures. I, I actually have a specific rod and reel I go to Belayo with. So don't go by me. I, sh I already showed my Belaya rod and reel earlier. So, so th this is my, my Belaya, one of them. So it'll cast out. You, you really need something to get them little small lures out. All right. I'll see you in a rebound, brother. Oh, the charge picking up. Ah, I don't want the junk again. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, the, the sooner you can start upgrading your trolling equipment, uh, wood, I would recommend. Uh, because for you, the, the money is going to be Volkov, to be honest. Trolling Volk is a, is a money maker. It's where I think probably the bulk of us made our money when we were young. <laughs> One other region. All right. I ain't got nothing cooking. Actually, here, let me throw out my, my third rod while we're waiting. Trophy grass. Bear Lake. Nice. Cocos again. So everybody's back to using Cocos at Bear again. That's that's a good. There for a while they were experimenting with a lot of weird stuff at Bear Lake. I have I have tons of cocoa. Tons of cocoa. Oh my lord. I mean, I think I can go have a party at, at uh, Bear Lake. <laughs> uh, what? Well, yeah, Xander, you're gonna what? Well, you're gonna you're gonna catch Xander. You're gonna catch Asp. They're all gonna be worth a little bit. Everything's gonna add up. I recommend just keeping everything and just you know taking it to the fishmonger. I'd fish for about an hour or so, or even into the next day. With it being nighttime right now, you're not really going to catch a whole lot at Volk. It's going to start picking up at Volkoff in about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. That was a nice grass carp. How long did it take you to get that one in? I, I really don't know, Wood. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a fishmonger. Ooh. Probably a little taming, just sitting on the bottom. Let's get him up. I mean, you're talking about a 1.5 kilogram. It's, it's probably maybe five silver. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out of value because I, I, I really don't know. Get some coffee. Let's get some. Let's get some uh, energy up in our system here. Come on, Taman. Let's go. 
Always you're doing sapping my energy. I knew what you was. You didn't have to peek and run. <laughs> Why can't we be friends? Let's go. You're not even that big. Stop fighting. Let's go. Why ain't my coffee kicking in yet? Come on. You're not even that big. Let's go. You just sucked all my energy out. Probably need like a 12. Let's go. Boy, I'm getting really good at weights. <laughs> I did not mean to cast that that far, but all right, let's go. There's one on my uh, other run. Yeah, that's that my first hour was about well an hour and 15. I made roughly about that Aiden I made I, I made almost exactly 600 silver This last hour I'm fishing it kind of slowed up a bit as you can see I'm bringing in little well I am getting spin fishing up so can't complain about that It has slowed down a lot So let's do this Let's just sell these fish and see where we're at. It's it slowed up, but I'm going to keep fishing here. I'm just going to keep, because I'm, I'm trying to grind up some silver. It's still 352 for 49 minutes. I mean, I'm sitting here complaining. <laughs> and I'm still making 352 for 50 minutes. 50 minutes I'm doing I'm doing all three heavy all three heavy I don't mess with light setups anymore yes yes sir yes sir I got I got these yep 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 boom there's an extra 145 silver thank you Pike <laughs> Oh, not I went to the wrong place. Yes, so very good. So I I made over about four hundred and fifty silver in fifty minutes, and I'm sitting there complaining. I better shut my mouth, right? Um, because what happens is He's, he's increasing his bite rate when he does that. It's a good strategy. Basically, you're using two setups and one light, so you get you get the differences of both worlds. So you're actually getting a lot more fish that way. It, it, it's, it's a pretty straight, smart strategy. Me, personally, I have three heavies just so I can just try to get bigger fish, to be honest. I used I used to use a light setup, but I just prefer now I'm I'm just going after like the Arctics and something I can just reel straight in. Um I used to also drift at night. Like I used to, when it went nighttime I used to drift. I used to go up to the end and just drift um through the night. So that was also a good idea to do. It's 2 a.m. Let me go grab something to drink real quick, guys. I'll be right back.
Oh, guys, man. Woot. All right, coffee's on. Let's go. Let's get some fish. Hey, and what uh, for your light setup? What was you using like a? Uh, was you using like a seven four? I think. Uh, I, oh, thought I had a. Thought I had a bite. All right, all right. We'll figure it out. Nothing's biting. It will, four o'clock. What's your uh, temperature right now? Well, it depends on where you're at, too. I don't know where you're, where you're trolling at. I know if you're between the islands, it would start biting right about in between now and six o'clock. You. You said nothing's biting. I know you're at Volk, but I don't know where you're at on the Volk map. Usually, uh, if you if you look at the islands, there's like two islands up top, and then I usually just troll between them. Uh Yeah, see that? See, I told you so I told you you were about to get hit. Yeah. If only I could predict Tunguska like I could Volkov. <laughs> I spent way too much time on Volkov. My problem is I never spent enough time in Tunguska. I like it, but it's just a, uh, every once in a while you just need a change. I'm back over 1,200 silver already, so we're, we're having a very productive run. Whoa, Nelma! Nelma, Nelma, Nelma. How you doing? I like Nelma's. Ah. Uh, oh, pull down, boys. Pull down. I, yeah, that was actually a nice one. I usually don't get nice ones like that. Every once in a blue moon, the game decides to throw me a bone. take my charge like that that's fine all day if you want feel like I'm off course but I'm, I'm not <laughs> that, that's always the problem with Tunguska sometimes you just you, you get off course and without even trying to just because the current is a little awkward Especially down at the other end. Like at 7.5 hole, for whatever reason, if I'm trolling here, you got to make sure you're aimed up this way a little more because it, this, this water pushes you down. Got some smalls here. Let me clear real quick. That's a pike. That's a nice pike.
It's not not a nice char, but it is what it is. It's a, a perch. Ah. They put perch in this game just to uh, toy with me, I'm telling you. Let me spin this boat around. Spin her around, boys. We've had a pretty successful day of Volk. I, I, or tongue. It's a Volk. <laughs> I haven't had a really solid day at Volkov for a while. I, I mean, I get decent fish, but they're just not consistent enough to make a nice bag. Like, I'll have, a, like, two decent fish, and then it'll be like, you know, by the end of the day, you're still only getting, like, 250. It's not very consistent for me at all. Seems to be an Arctic, hopefully. Maybe another four kilogrammer. Come on, get in here. They're just jumping out of the water at us, guys. Jumping out of the water. Uh. I'll say, this is usually where I get a couple Arctics. Let's get some. You just want to keep keep the love going, and we'll keep the love going. <laughs> keep it real. Third rod's starting to see some action now. A little baby taming. I love how they just like squat at the bottom for a little while and then they're just like, okay, I'm coming. There's his brother. Let's let's see if we can get his daddy now too. Let us see. To buy another boat ticket, guys. Holy cow. Last time I was in Tunguska, I, I, it's so hit or miss on this map, and I don't know why. Like, everybody's like, oh, come to Tung. I'm pulling out like a thousand silver an hour, and I'm like, I get here and it's dead. It's like 400. <laughs> Like, I thought you were pulling out a grand. I am. Today's pretty good, though. I, I'm not even going to lie. I mean, we're not, we're seeing about five, six hundred an hour, so 
five, six hundred an hour, you're going to keep me at Tunguska. I'm, I am not going to leave. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Fully loaded has arrived at the scene. You ain't missed much. We got, got a couple decent uh, decent bites. It started off pretty good. Still seems to be flowing. This day, anyway. You didn't. You definitely didn't miss anything. You, I went and got another cup of coffee, and here comes a Nelma. Nelma. Oh, I didn't even know that pool was down. Bring us in. Little baby. Hang on, little guy. I'm coming to get you. We're coming. Bring this straightness back out. Very good. All right, back to fishing. Oh yeah, I turned in a Pike Cafe order too. So that was good. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. A little baby over here. So both these balsas seem to be fairly consistent, the blue and the, and the one that's on the weeklies. I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it at all. That's a small, but that's all right. The smalls need love too. I mean, an eyed, an eyed. Game's just toying with my emotions now. <laughs> oh, coffee is good. You know the other nice thing about today? We don't have to work today, boys. We don't have to work. A good day when you don't have to work. Little salmon. The game doesn't get their fish back. I never give a game the fish back. I don't care. That's my fish. I am not going to throw it back in to contaminate the water. <laughs> It's not been bad. I I was I've been trolling here the eleven hole and uh, it slowed for me the last hour. So I figured I'd come down here and, and hit the twelve. It didn't do any better. So I'm just gonna stick with the eleven and see how that goes. I mean, so far so good. Uh, if you're going to use a third, I recommend a Satori for sure. Um, that that lets my third rod's been doing pretty well for with the Satori. Um, yeah, I. I was really excited, and I was one of the people that bought the mice when they first came out. 
And uh, I, I'm, I'm vaguely, uh, look at this eyed. It's like catching a 289 gram eyed. I mean, I'm, I was vastly disappointed. <laughs> but I still bought them anyway. You know, because I'm a sucker. I didn't buy all the lures, though. We'll say that. Nelma! Nelma! Like, I bought, uh... Oh, what did I buy here? Nothing there. It's all crap I made. I, sh I don't even remember. And I, everything I bought here only worked a little bit. Uh, like this salmon shad. The, these ones are varying. They have worked a little bit, but nothing really great. Nothing for me to say, wow, I, I'm glad I bought that. And then I had the chipmunk and the mouse. Both, uh, you know, nothing I bought here was something I was like, ooh, I'm good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, if Rick had a fish get away, he must be fighting a big fish. The fish got away from Rick. Now he's got a bigger fish on the other line. You, you don't you don't feel very welcomed at Volkov? Or are, are you feeling a little underpowered at Volkov maybe? Oh. I'd never see a, an FGA with Rick. That's I was excited for a second. I thought he did. Here's a profile. You here, here. I told you. I told you he caught another tr blue this morning. He caught another blue this morning. Look at that experience. Holy shit. Now that's a profile, boys. That's a profile. Only one rod, no broken reels. Mm. He's not even human. He's not even human. <laughs> Well, let me turn this boat around, guys. Oh, yeah, the taimans like to squat down. You, you know how it is. They'll squat, they'll be heavy at the very beginning, and then once you break them out from the bottom, it's just like, boom. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's very true, Brad. Yeah. 
Yeah. I always pin. I always pimp him out. Uh, he is, uh, he's amazing. Any questions I ever ask, he'll he'll answer as well. So, um, interesting note. I don't know if you was here earlier, because me and Mesk always brings up, you know, what hooks to use um, for wilds. And I was using one O's, and then Mesk taught me to use a four O hook. Um, it turns out Rick uses a Mugga S1 hook. What? So guess what hook I will be using to catch wilds from now on? I will be using the Mugga S1. I will buy, I'm going to go buy three of them today. I have the, I have the other Mugga. I don't have, uh. I, the one he told me to buy, I have a, uh, I have the other version of the Mugga. I have the Edelon Mugga. He just uses the plain Mugga S1. Yeah. So. I'm going to be, I'm going to start using it for wilds. Just wilds. Uh, because quite frankly, uh, the Bloody Hook S, uh, the one O hooks. Yeah, it's the black mugga. So I'm going to buy three of those for the next time I do wilds. But for when I'm at Amber and all, I'll be honest, the bloody hook works the best for me. So I'm just going to keep with the bloody hook. I'm not changing the bloody hook. Well, that's that's your welcoming party there nothing uh what what uh friction brake do you have what well, I, I i don't even know what your setups are what what is your setups is anything damaged these are all questions i have so so the first thing is i know if a fish is fighting me harder i always go straight to What's broken? And then I click this little gear. And this tells me, okay, I only have 0.1% wear on a line, guides. That's good. So my, I know my rod's good. Mech, you really don't even have to do worry about the mechanism until you know you you start locking. And I'm not, I'm never locking. So I usually let the mechanism go to about 20, 30 percent before I refix it because it's expensive. Um. The very other thing you should look at is your friction brake. Your friction brake and grease, I mean, if your friction brake's over 10%, I would definitely get it fixed. But some people let it go even further. I do not because I don't like to play the I can only put it on friction 26 card. No, no, no. Don't don't I'm just I'm just giving you a heads up. Is if anything's over ten percent, uh, I would look at it and say, "Do I need to fix it?" Like friction brake, ten percent is to me affects you more. Um, also, your line. Also, your line. Yeah, I I know. Uh, I know they do, but like uh, my bloody hooks work really well. I have no problem with my bloody hooks and tuba. There's only one thing that I ever questioned about uh, the wilds was I got wilds, but I couldn't. And I've gotten trophy wilds with my bloody series, but I didn't get the consistency of the trophies of the wilds that um, Rick does. And that's why I asked him. I do get the consistency of the trophies on Amber which I use the bloodies on, I do get the consistencies pretty much everywhere else except for tuba, if that, if that makes sense. I, I don't know how much sense that makes, but it, it's, it's true. He's, he gets more wild trophies than me, uh, without a doubt. 
He's very, you know, for whatever reason, Tuba likes that mug of S1. Amber don't care. Amber, Amber, you could shove a bloody series hook on an S01 and, uh, or an S, uh, yeah, an S10 and it'll be perfectly happy. They will feed you trophies anytime. Very consistent. But for whatever reason, I go up to Tuba and it's, you know, I, sh I don't struggle to get trophies. I, I actually, I kind of do struggle to get trophies. And Rick's pulling out consistent, consistently like, you know, 20 kilogram, 25 kilogram. The bite rate was never the issue. It was the, just the, the weight of the fish, if you know what I mean. I had generally pretty good bite rate, but the, the fish weight was a little off. So I'm going to try the muggas and see if that helps. I haven't done it yet. I have not done it yet. Which is probably why when I bought them other mugga hooks... Uh, I never, I never did really well with them because they're silver. Just so you know, don't ever, don't buy the other mugga hooks for whatever. I never did well with them. Black and red. Stick with black and red, guys. <laughs> I actually think the bloody hooks do well because most of the lakes are clay, red clay. So that's probably why the bloody hooks kind of blend in because they're red. I don't know, we're just spitballing. <laughs> um, I'll tell you another thing to check, uh, to be honest there, uh, Wood, is your line. If your line's over 10% or your leader, uh, that, that's going to really affect how you, your fish pulls as well. Oh yeah, it's 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 been really decent for me today. I mean, I ain't got ten grand in my bank yet. I've only got what twelve hundred, but I just really haven't been doing it that much. I think I'm on hour three, and I still got twenty nine fish in here. So, where was you trolling at, Osk? Was you was you trolling the eleven or uh, down by the twelve? I tried down by the twelve a little bit. That kind of threw threw me off because I didn't get much down the twelve hole like I did the eleven. Yeah, that's that's where I'm hitting. Okay, yeah, I. I screwed up and I came down here because I had a day it was biting slow and I'm like, oh, I'll troll down here. And that cost me. It cost me a little bit of silver. I should have just stayed the 11. Yep. Because this is where I was getting everything. One of your lines is fifteen percent. Yeah, that, I mean that'll that'll definitely hurt you too. I, that's one of the big things you you know you should uh, always take a peek at is your your line wear. Whenever you start noticing, that should be the first thing you eyeball. Lines my, for me, re, leaders is uh, leaders is another one. Sometimes I forget about the leaders and I just shove them on and. Uh, my leader wear is garbage, hot garbage. And I don't know why I ever let it get the hot garbage since I can make leaders. <laughs> but I do. 
<laughs> I do. Oh. I think the nice thing about Tunguska is you can actually catch stuff at night too. Where Volk, Volk is so like dead unless you're going catfish hunting or you know you're actually just parked up and going for like eel or something. That's garbage. <laughs> It'll be all right. You'll get there. Look, we we all we all started with nothing. We all started with nothing. I've gotten a decent amount of Nelmas today. I think, I think every uh, hour I've gotten at least a couple, at least at least two. Uh, yeah, there is. If if you ferry over, I don't know the exact coordinates. Uh, so you'd actually have to look that up. If you, it, it's right beside the other dock, by the uh, islands, and I, I honestly just don't know the coordinates off off the top of my head. Dodger crank, huh? I've got mine on a mixed bag of nuts. They've been Dave. I've got mine on uh on them balsas. I'm running the balsa minnow on that's on the weeklies plus the blue blue version of it. And this Satori. Ah, here comes another baby. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty terrible when it comes to Volkov coordinates. I, I ain't even gonna lie. I know the places. Oh, yeah. This one, this weekly war. <laughs> it was given to me, so I can't. I gotta actually get my lore making up, guys. I, I really do. It's very expensive to do, though. I need to get my harvesting baits up and lure making. I I, I mean, I could have just easily just whipped the forums out and I guess. I never even look half the time. I'm like, I'm going to the ill spot. Looks, us old timers know where 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 the ill spot is. <laughs> we we might not know the coordinate, but we just know. Just like Sleepy Hollow Bridge. What's the coordinates? I don't know. I just know Sleepy Hollow Bridge. Salmon. The 
Right. Right. Those are the maps I usually use whenever somebody asks me for coordinates because I honestly don't know. Someone asked me for the grid one one day. I wasn't in game and I'm like, uh, I don't know. But then I actually went to the forums and found it. Get up here. Let's go. Nice pike. Nice pike. Too bad I already turned that one in. Getting some nice sized pike out of here too today. <laughs> and the problem with Volkov is, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't do anything at night, really. I... I patrol between the islands for the most part, and then when it hits like 2300, I'm usually parked up, I ferry across, I sell my fish, or well, I check the cafe, I sell my fish, then I generally just go and get something to drink, or, you know, go to the bathroom, whatever I need to do, and then I, you know, ferry back over for the next morning, and start, you know, boating around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and uh, start the fishing day all over again. That's usually how I handle Volkov. Oh, I knew it. I'm off course. Whoa. Let's get back on course, boys. I don't know how I got so far off. Get back over here. <laughs> there you go yeah i've gotten some nice nice taming out you know there's a little baby nelma she's not a prize winner but she's still a beauty in my eyes <laughs> You are not a beauty. You are a stinking perch. Nobody likes you. Nobody wants to catch you. The only time we want to catch you is when we want to use you to for bait for something else. There you go. Trophy salmon, brother. Trophy salmon. Yeah, I had a little bit of baby chars there, too. Uh-oh. I see fully loaded. <laughs> yeah, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I love that sound. Look, I, I love when someone's take my rod and go with it, I'm fine with that. I know I got something big on there. Well that's the thing about the salmon. Like they'll do that even though they're not that that big. 
but if it's consistent then you know you got a good one Come on, big boy. All right, you're not that big. Oh, nice salmon. That's a cutie. It could be, but I don't know. I, I don't have that, you know, that big a Xander running me out too often. If I got something running me, it's 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 ninety percent chance uh, it's a uh, salmon. Of course, he is using a caliber, so yeah. I mean, I, I guess in theory it could. It still had to be a fairly significant salmon. Ask for good money, I'd take a nice big ass. You'd know fairly quick. That little dorsal fin sticks out pretty quick. Well, for me, it does anyway. I just yank that, that rod up, and it's like, oh, asp. But asp, asps can uh, tire out rather quickly. They're not going to fight you like tooth and nail. Like, a salmon will fight you every square inch. Every square inch. It'll get you in the net and still, you know, it'll still fight you. What we got in our keep man? How long? I mean, going for 39 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I don't know about that. I, I I can't say the same. I was catching, I was catching some decent sized fish earlier. Definitely, definitely was catching some decent sized fish earlier. I'm getting I'm getting salmon now. I am I am not complaining about that. I am not complaining about that at all. In fact, if the game wants to throw even more salmon at me, by all means. I said salmon, not 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 little Arctic char. I did that little like spin move one time at Volkov and, and just hooked in a salmon like instantly. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, uh, that, that uh, well, you're using it. The Dodgers was good for quite a long time. I'm actually, it's actually slow. Give it a, give it until the next morning and see how your Dodger goes. Like I said, this little Satori's done well too. That I have. Oh, no, no, keep trolling. Keep, you dirty dog. Now nah, you're just, now nah, you're just being needy. Yeah, because, you know, me reeling the, the actual pull from the water in my hand makes, you know, makes a lot more sense. I can start a boat then. Thank you, game.
Ooh. Ah. Oh. A hunter. Yeah, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Are you going to put a blue hunter on or are you going to put on the brown and gold one? Because you know both might do well. But like I said, I know that these Satori's do well here as well. Sure. I think if you look at the uh, USA Weeklies, yeah, I, I have no idea how much it has. So you're probably you're probably looking at about. Uh, Seven different hunters. Ooh, nice. Pink salmon trophy. Awesome. That's going to be some cash. Ooh, I don't have this color. Or do I? Don't make me look now. I've got to start making lures. I've got to. But look, look, this is all the crap I got in my inventory just from making the lore percentage I did. <laughs> That's a hell of a fish, Aiden. Definitely works worth some bank air. leave my hands free so I can spin this boat around. <laughs> uh, there we go. Nelma! God, I love Nelmas. We just cast this front right now. Let's we'll just go ahead and get that out of the way. We know we know where it's going. Char. All right, pit maneuver. straight on the map new about now yeah straighter looks good let's hit it oh nice bread nice nice That's a good, that's a, that's a nice looking salmon. Nice looking salmon, guys. And that thing fought you tooth and nail, did it not? Good job. I don't know, nothing like catching a big salmon. 
Oh, I know. And that, and that's why a lot of people, you know, you, you start talking about Volkov and, you know, not only did they nerf their price, they, you know, they fight harder. So now what used to be, well, you, you can understand why they did it, right? I mean, people was making 1,200 silver on Volkov. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, Wood. Nice. I remember having a lot of very nice Volkov runs, and then they, they nerfed. Oh, 666, Devil Grayling. Devil Fish. <laughs> Devil fish. I think that uh, we were laughing about that. The, I think Sam. Hold on, let me look here. I think if I'm not wrong, because it's been a while since I've seen him in game. Um, I think he's got a trophy white. Where was he? There you go. Sam's got a trophy white eye bream at 666. How about that? How about to have that in your inventory? <laughs> I, I was hoping, yeah, it's, uh, it was a while since I looked that one up. I was hoping it was still there. He doesn't go fishing for those anymore because he wants to keep it there. <laughs> oh. That's just amazing. Back down, straighten up. It is slowed up tonight. Definitely slowed up. Even for me. Now you know why I go for coffee at night. <laughs> Man, we're getting there. Come on. It's only 130. Here, I I'm gonna go back and sell these. That way I uh I have an empty bag.
Cause it's it's slow right now. <laughs> look, I just had that discussion. Uh, hold on, I, I'll look it up for you. Let me park my boat real quick. Did I just hear? Zzz? Nope. Okay. Every once in a while, you'll grab a fish going 100 miles an hour. It's really funny. All right, do I have anything? No. Okay. Let's sell up. Okay, what is it? 97.127. Uh, let me take a quick look. Ninety-seven one twenty-seven is oh that's not the grid coordinates. Oh, let me uh, where's my Streamlabs? Um, yeah, I I I just was looking on their map and it's. Hold on. Yeah, it's it's on the island. Hold on. Oh, it's all kind of all kind of goofed up here. So um Ninety seven. Ninety sevens one twenty sevens on this left island right here. Right here. I don't know the exact coordinate. This is off off of a uh, their map. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta flip that back. Hold on. Oh, where's my stream lapse? Okay, you don't need to show. You need to go here. Oh, that's fine. Just, just do that. That'll work. Okay. To the fishmonger. <laughs> Ooh, that was probably the lowest one yet. 389, but how long was I out? 55 minutes. Okay, so that was definitely the, the slowest the slowest round I've had so far. It's 3 o'clock. Let's get back out. We're not even close. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I was just like, well, I'll just go check, and then I'm like, oh, crap. Usually, oh, that sounds healthy. Usually they have the official map. Oh, that's just a uh, stupid Taman who was just squatting on the bottom. Usually the, if the map's on the websites. Oh, now you're going to just be a pain. Let's go. Come on. I mean, it's a good way to start the day off, I guess. Probably a stinking 10 kilogram who just wants to squat. Let's go. Get in the boat. I got other fish to catch. Oh, that's a char? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll take that. Let's go. <laughs> I 
was not expect. Oh, of course uh, that line pops. I was not expecting a char. To, the, I thought that was a tamer just squatting down. Now a char wants to squat down. There's the taming I was looking for, boys. There's the taming. <laughs> All right. This this hour's off to a really good start. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not bad. It it came it came up pretty well, didn't it? Hey, 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 fully. Not, not, now you know why I went with this rod and his lines. I mean, I got a 38.3 liter on, on my, on the damn thing. <laughs> Ooh, mask. Hey, there you are. Why well, I got you here, brother. So, you know how Rick always pulls out the blue trophies he just pulled out a blue uh a blue wild this morning and he uses a mugga s1 hook for his wilds just so you know he's using a large one hook to catch all of his wild trophies i just wanted to put that out there for you i'm spreading knowledge spreading knowledge because guess what i'm about to start using when i fish wilds a mug of S1. <laughs> oh no. Are you are you tipsy? Do you do you need me to send the paramedics? I can send the paramedics. <laughs> awesome. That is great. Bear Lake putting out trophies again. So everybody, I wonder what Mesk's video will be tomorrow. What what um what 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 video do you think Mesk is going to show tomorrow? <laughs> was it was you was it your same Bear Lake spot? I mean, I, I've heard from numerous people Bear Lake's been on fire. Coco. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Dijon, Dijon's gone with the uh, blue tag special. Oh. Yeah, that is very true. He didn't specify what kind of leather carp trophy it was. I mean, it, it could be a blue tag. We're all congratulating him for a yellow tag. I, I guess we should have got specifications. <laughs> it is a PC game. Yes. I... Don't think they make it for console. I believe it's only PC, Brum. Ah. It is free to play. It is free to play. <laughs> uh. So we're going to need uh, paramedics to help mask out uh, because he's drunkard. And also we need a winch for the leather carp trophy. All right. I just got done talking to the authorities, Mester, and bound to help you out. I thought I hit the troll mode before I, I I cast that out. I did. It's just taking forever. All right, let's see what we got. 
we got to get going the right way because I got screwed the last time I was out a little bit. I don't want the same thing to happen again. Oh, hey, no problem, brother. No problem. It's it's a, it's a fun, relaxing game. It's, uh, you know, it'll make you cuss at times because you're not catching fish or you're catching a fish that's, you know, running and taking all your line and you're, you know, it'll get you sometimes. It's a, it's a little change of pace from the shooters you're playing right now. <laughs> It's just a little change of pace. Well, technically, it's usually my change of pace game, too. Usually, I am playing something a little different. But uh, I just haven't found anything decent. Well, so hopefully, a little knock on wood. Maybe I'll find something here eventually. I know these guys ain't complaining. They, they'd rather me fish than shoot. <laughs> uh. Okay, second cast. Well, you got a big one. You're a Volkov now. I mean, that's 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 where that's that's where the big boys are. All right, it's 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 where we started. Volkov for me was probably the the place I hated but loved the most when I was a lower level. Because that was when you started getting to the bigger fish, like the salmon, like the asps. Um, those are the fish that'll fight you. Every every square inch of the of the lake, it'll fight you. Oh, second line out. Really need a, a third spot for my third reel. That'd be great. Or, or at least let me change them out. Oh, that's a nice little pike. He looks so happy. Uh, plenty. <laughs> plenty. <laughs> you name it. You name it. You name it, it'll bite it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, it is entirely... Well, I guess it is uh, 2 o'clock p.m. I was going to say it's too early for mom jokes, but it, it is too... Uh, too something. It's still kind of early. But it uh, depends on what side of the world you're on, I guess. I'll just what you fishing for. <laughs> ah. There's a lot that bites on a red worm in Volk, to be honest with you. A lot. Special. Special. I I would uh I would uh focus if you're if you're trying to take three kilogram lines out on Volk, I would uh 
honestly go back to old Berg and just grind out to try to get yourself into some like a uh, little bit better gear I mean I, I literally sat at old Berg when I was first fishing uh, forever forever until at least I got like nine kilogram reels Probably the minimum I'd go in a Volk with would be a Saber. Oh. There's a baby taming. Hey, spin fishing point one. Why not? I'll take that. Let's get that up to a hundred, just for the, the shits and giggles. Oh, I see my other line go down just as I cast that. Yep, we're still good. Boop, little baby odd. Come on, where's my Arctic's? Who give me all these little babies? Oh, don't do not do that. Do not do that. That was that was bad. I could have done that with the other ones that got away with it. That one would have been all the way down the river. Ooh, we're getting some decent fish bites now. Hopefully they start turning into something decent. So that little crap that we've been getting. There's a little something with a little weight. 2.8. Now, if they were all that size, I wouldn't be complaining. I mean, I probably still would be complaining, but a different uh, different level. Alright, let's go. Make this turn. Perfect. Doop. Oof. Five days of boat rental about to die out. Ooh. Are they really? Tickets. Gotta be close. I should buy another. Oh, I still got another day. Alright. Very good. Huh. <laughs> I showed you my float experience. Look, I, I only ever float fish to get bait fish. I, I, I only ever float fish to get bait fish. <laughs> I mean, this is what I do. This is the bread and butter right here. This only feeds into this. <laughs> oh, I <don't... laughs> we have different versions of fun. <laughs> Bring this in. I'll spin this boot around. There's a bite. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The baby baby char baby char let's get this let's get this boat spun here moving it out moving it out moving it out I don't know quite not quite make that turn let's get it Ramos there Oh, the float kit. 
And, uh, you know what? Them kits aren't bad. They did change them. They nerfed it, actually nerfed the damn starter kits. You used to get some really decent equipment in them. You still kind of do, but not like you used to. All right, have fun. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I I don't really float fish a whole heck of a lot. It's like a punishment for me. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like, oh, God, I got to go get bleak. Why must I get bleak? All right, sounds good, buddy. Hey, I don't blame you. It's good to get outside every once in a while. I'll be on shortly tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be back to the old uh, work habit until the weekend. Well, until Sunday, anyway. Then I'll have Sunday, Monday off, so. Word. I mean, we're, we're definitely not doing too, too, too bad. We're going to be up to two grand again pretty soon. So, I mean, we basically went from 100 silver this morning. We went from, I think it was 100 and something odd silver to almost 1,600 during this stream. So, not bad at all. Not bad. I actually think it's going to get a little better. It's going to get colder, so I really think the fishing will get better. Oof. But probably after this day, I'll probably take a short... I'll probably just, you know be done with my stream after this day in the game that way I can stretch my legs and relax a little bit I'll probably still fish so you guys would probably still see me in game no worries no worries I'm gonna try to gain some silver up today I I really should say start saving some money I know we were talking about that real yesterday I might have to start making some lures, though. I don't know. I really would like to make lures all the way. Like, I don't know where I'd be if these lures ever got lost. I would basically have... I'd be in the same boat you guys would I'd be asking... Boom. But we'll run her through tonight, or uh, at least into the night. Oof. Pretty damn good. Someone's someone's actually fishing for bellows again. I love bellow fishing. I just can't stand the bleak part. <laughs> I remember I had a a buddy once whenever I first started uh, fishing. He used to do. He used to love bleak fishing and he used to always just give me the bleaks damn he was a good fella <laughs> I'd sign in and there'd be like 20-30 bleaks sitting in my inventory or my mailbox
just because he wanted to get float fish into a hundred. <laughs> Crazy people. Who does that? Who gets float fish into a hundred? Not this guy. Um. It's actually getting warm in there. I'm going to have to turn on the air conditioner. Holy cow. I didn't think it was supposed to get that hot today. That's not too shabby. I just don't know where all of our fish went. Like I said, the Mars, it's going to be, should be decent the next couple of days. I'm hoping anyway. Oh, what happened? Dijon, what happened? Fish got away? What? What? What happened? Uh-oh. We got a story coming up, boys. What, what happened to Jean? FGA, man. FGA. <laughs> what hooks are you using, brother? Did, did you invest in any better hooks? Or are, you st are you using a... You're using a lures, huh? Are you using the standard lure hooks? Oh. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, it, he didn't run out your reel, though, so. All he did was slip off the hook. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's actually a positive. Could have been like when I, I, I was catching that, that sturge in, the, in my line. Uh, okay. You're just using the standard hooks. You're not using the expensive ones like me. <laughs> oh, little, little. Hey, you, you hook into a four kilogram tamer with that UL. I'll see you in four hours. Let me guess, you're right here. Are you right here? Yeah, we was actually laughing about that yesterday. What was it yesterday, the day before? Someone was UL and said something about hooking into, into like a tame, and we're like, yeah, four kilograms, see you in a couple of hours. Oh, man, that would suck so bad. I would, I would just be like, you know, oh, a little bit lower. I haven't fished here for a while. We used to fish. I used to fish right here all the time. And then I started to fish, I think, right here in the casting into here. And I'll tell you, I used to use this rod right here. This is what I used to use. <laughs> and, and which lure are you using? See, I'd probably run a spiker on that. I'd probably, I'd probably go this, and then I would probably go, eh, I'd probably hit one of these two spikers. Ooh. 
I was about to say, well, if I don't catch anything significant when I get down to the thing, I'll jump off the boat and uh, I'll cast a few in with you. But then my pole just went down, so let's see what this thing is. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little char. Oh, a little taming. Hey, talking about a four kilogram taming. That's that's how you catch a four kilogram taming. <laughs> that's how you do it right there. see how long it takes me to get down to that level I haven't done that for a while so you're using a and what are you catching down there you're just using a popper see I would probably use, I'd be using spikers I'll be, I'll be honest with you I'd probably use spikers or one of these Achilles or killers. I've even had success with the, with a couple of these handmade spinner ones too. Here, I'll come throw a couple out with you. Before before I call it a day, let's see what we'll, let's see what we can get into. Yeah, I'm trolling 100 mile an hour. See if I catch anything as well. Don't come off the boat. Hold on. It's been a while since I did that. I, I haven't done anything like that for quite a while. Twenty-nine. All right, no sweat. We could have got a little more, but I just want to come out here and toss some. Just because I haven't done it for a long time. So you are using the poppers. I am going to use. I'm going to use this. I'm just going to switch. I'm going to pretend like I'm at Balea. Let's see here. If I go like this and that. Oh, that was way too hard. I should never have done that, but okay. Oh, hello. Straight away into the fish's mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see why you're fishing here. Yeah, this is great. Oh, yeah. No, no. He's, yeah, this is great. This is great. Yeah, I understand now. Yeah. I probably got to turn up my real speed. Oh, shit. Screw you. I don't want to play your games no more. <laughs> Damn it. You did this. This is your fault. <laughs> Sorry. 
So yeah, I see why you're fishing over here. I, I, I see. I see why you're fishing here. Here we go. We got it. We got it. We're here. We're good. It's a salmon. No, it ain't. I lied. It's a char. Boom. All right. Huh? How about that? Let's keep going. You still using that popper? Oh, you still use that popper? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> There's a brown trout. Ah, uh, oh, that one didn't go out that far. I didn't even change lures. So I just left this, this lure on. It's kind of funny. I just left whatever I had on and on. This is just the, uh, this is whatever setup I had. I had to cut. Well, if you notice, I had to go downstream because what was I doing? It was right here at the wash. So it was running down with the water. Once, once I got down from the wash, I was all right. Hey, what's going on, Psycho? How are you doing today? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, we're just about to call it here. I just figured I'd come in here and, uh, I come down to here mess with uh, Dijon here a little bit. He said 107. So let's see. What's where are you at? You're at 107. Oh wait, you're you're further you're, you're further down than 102. Okay. So you're a little bit further than me here. Let me let me adjust my real speed, my retrieval speed, and uh, so you're casting out that way. I'm see. I'm going to continue to cast this way. And, uh, I, you know what? Let me leave the, uh, let me throw in this blue one just because, just because I did not cast far enough. Did not cast far enough guys. There we go. There's a bite. Nice little brown trout. Let's keep going. Oh, there we go. There's another one. I, I, I'm starting to understand why you're fishing down here. There's another little tiny brown trout. Let's keep going. I don't think I've haven't look I, every every cast is a fish every every single cast is a fish these are a little smaller maybe I have to go back and uh... what do you mean snooze <laughs> we ain't snoozing we're catching I even cast it up a little more this time. I, I don't know about a good spot. I was trolling for a while and I had a lot of uh, fish and I just come down here to... <laughs> oh, you're, you're spooling. Ah, there's another fish. There's a schmelt. Little schmelt. Here, let me throw in some pancakes and some tea. Let me build up my energy a little bit here. <laughs> uh, 
That's a fun sound, isn't it? It's always a good sound. Are you intentionally going after Char? <laughs> Look, here's another fish. Why, 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 why are you doing that? I'm, I'm just going to sit here and keep reeling these small ones in. Okay, I'm, I'm getting bored of these, these ones, so let, let's go ahead and uh, let's go back to this. Or even this. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me do this one. I don't, I haven't used this one in a long time. Let's see if this gets me anything. Ooh, will this be the first one I cast out that ain't going to catch anything? Oh, it could be. It could be. We're right there. I mean, damn. Let's take him out. Come down to this choppy area. That's where I caught that stupid Arctic, so. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's go back to this. It's a 3.5. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. See, you were laughing about my, my, my real going. Look, there we go. Here's one. This is pretty good. Uh, this, this thing here is working really well. But you said you were you were down a little bit more. There's a grayling. So you're what right here-ish? Are you casting out there, or you're just casting across over here? Probably just casting across over to here. If I had to guess. Right in. Boom. Yeah, this 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 pool isn't really meant for anything. Y you know, this is my belaya pool, so you know it's 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 not made for. If I look, if I if anything of size hits, I'm in trouble with this. I use this this setup for donuts and balea, basically. It's just a little fucking. It's got like a six, I think a six point two liter on it. Another little Arctic. Oh, Siberian. Ooh. Oh, that thought. If I can catch fish on a steel boat by George, I should be able to catch him. <laughs> Just sitting there.
Yeah, I got a I got a five point. This reel's a five point five and a six point two liter. I love it. I I I love this little. It is not uh, my like my, one of my favorite little setups. It it truly it truly is. It's 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 expensive, but it's I did it to prove a point. <laughs> it's nice. I just wanted to have look. I never owned a Narga. I, I, I think I, I told you earlier, I never had Nargas. So the whole thing was I own two Nargas. However, they're Narga 2000s. <laughs> oh, I was looking to buy two, two small setups, and that this is what I came up with. So these two are basically my donuts and my uh Balea poles. I'd like to get three three smaller ones. Do what? You can only use size one thousand real. I think that I can I can use actually spinning one thousand or two thousand. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons I went with this. Because I didn't have casting reels and I don't have any points in casting, so I just if you look, everything I have is spinning. The next reel I buy is going to be put on a casting rod, and that'll be my first, first uh, thing on a casting rod. Oh, oh, I did catch something. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, get off me. Get out of the way. I did catch something. Nope, not there. It was on the other one. Ah! Are you... <laughs> Those were my... The ones I had on the boat. I, I just threw them down. I'll leave it sit there. I'll try to pay more attention. That is BS, and I really didn't think I was going to catch anything with him. <laughs> I just threw him out there for shits and giggles, and sure enough, uh, we caught something, right? That's how it always works. I mean, this. tell me this isn't a nice spot, though. This is a really nice spot. I mean, I'm I'm casting out everything I cast out catches. So if you got a light set up, I mean, this is where you come for Tunguska. That's a nice little brownie. Okay. I'll actually have to check this. I, I, I honestly, I don't know crap. I don't recognize the uh, real. I actually have something here. All right. <laughs> let me let me go look. See what you got. Let me check out your setup real quick. Uh, I mean that for that little bit. Let's see. I got fifteen fish. I mean, it was every cast caught a fish. Every cast caught a fish. 
Hey buddy, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? You all right? Did you accidentally lock it? Did did you accidentally lock it? Dijon just broke a reel. Uh, I don't. I don't know if he's going to talk to us now. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if you walked away on that one or not. <laughs> uh, it was at twenty nine. Oh, the Mac. Yeah, I I let mine go quite quite a bit. Um. I do have a mech that's really bad. I, well, not really bad. It's at like whatever percent, nineteen or or twenty. It might be at twenty percent. Just walk backwards. How far is it out? Oh, ah, uh, it, it was way out. It was. It was. It was. Uh, yeah, I got you. That's right. So you have a Z series Zeman. Zeman. Yeah. yeah, I would. I would all have four. Yeah, do it. Just save your line. 210 reel series 210 so you got these about 3600 a pop okay how much are my, I have to know how much are my Nargos I'm just curious I know I spent way too much money on them Oh, no, I didn't. My Nargas were only 16. Aiden, what's happening? Oh, nothing. We jumped off the boat, did a little uh, land fishing here, and uh, I uh, caught some small babies with my little light rod. I guess I should see if any of those... Look, I was only there for not even 15 minutes and uh, made that much silver. That was actually not bad. Every every cast caught a fish. So there's definitely silver to be made on the light rods for sure still. I did have one smelt. Eh. Okay. Damn. That'd be a nice catch. So that wasn't too bad, guys. That was not bad at all. We did a pretty good run. I didn't spend no money. And I'm already back up to 1,800. I'm going to actually fish a little bit, I think, tonight. Because I don't feel like playing anything else. So I'm going to actually increase that silver a little bit. What the, we were talking about mechs, so what, what is my mech on, on some of mine? 9.6. There's a friction I'm going to have to replace soon, I know it, I've seen it. There's a 10.6. It must be on this one. Yeah, 16. Okay, so I'm not even 20% mech wary yet. I'll worry about it more whenever I hit that. I'll wait. I'll wait a little bit longer. I'll probably replace the grease before too long knowing that. 
Grease is cheap and it helps. When's the last time you replaced a grease on that? I, I don't know. Did you have a heat indicator at all? Oh, okay. So you didn't even you didn't even have like it, it it just gave no notice. It just went crack, huh? That's strange. That's that's really strange. Hmm. I really don't know. You you may you may have convinced me to replace my mex at twenty five percent now though. <laughs> you, you you may you may have convinced me to do that. Maybe at twenty five percent I'll start replacing my mex. Hmm. That's 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 crazy. Oh, so you were tabbed out. You didn't even actually see what hurt what happened. What kind what kind of line was you running? You said you were only running six point something line though, huh? I, I believe that's what you said. Six point something. So you got a 6.8 liter, but what's your, what was your, what's your line? Okay. So, I mean, that's not really that much over your reel. So I don't know why that would have made your reel the, leak, the weakest point. Well, I guess in some ways it would have because your, your reel is a six. What, 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 how big's your reel? It's not that big. Your reel's only what? What's your reel? Six point five. It. I don't. I don't know. It shouldn't have. It shouldn't have broke. But it. By doing that. Right. Yeah. It should have just spooled you. If anything, it it should have spooled you. But. You know, a lot of times if you redline and. Even without locked. Has it ever been read for you before? Yeah. I, 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 I'm not understanding it either, to be honest with you. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, it's very strange. Very strange. Yeah, I, I I agree with you. It should it should have locked. It should have locked. Uh, anyway, we made a lot of silver. I'm still gonna make some silver, but I gotta get up, stretch the legs for a little bit before I get back on the game. You're you're in the red at the end, but works okay. Hmm. Yeah, I I never take anything into the red. Uh, just just because of that so I, I don't know if you see anytime I'm fighting a fish I make sure I stay in the yellow at all times just so nothing wonky happens yeah actually yeah I want to see how much the repair bill is going to be I'm curious because it is a 30, 30 almost a $3,600 reel so I know with my mech it's almost sixteen hundred for a Tagara mech. 
I'm almost certain it was about 1600 for a Tagore mech. Almost like my Narga? What do you mean? <laughs> Where's the... I don't even know where the stupid... Uh... Oof. I, I don't know, because if you knew, you look at a new Zeman, you got to keep in mind, though, my, my Narga won't fit on your rod. I think my Narga's a 2,000 reel. <laughs> you should you should have bought a Beluga, man. should have bought a Beluga. You, you want with the fancy... Uh, the Zeman, you had to be white, you know, it, it looks pretty because it goes, it, it, it's kind of like the alphas, you know, so, so you go from Zima to alpha and yeah, it's nice. It looks good on a rod though, when it's working. <laughs> oh, it's all good. At least, at least it's only 11. I know it's shitty. But at least it's only like 1100s you're out and not like a, 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 a ton more, to be honest with you. You, you never want to hear about a real snapping like that. So, all right, guys, I really got to stretch my legs. I appreciate it a million times over. I know I say this all the time for everybody hanging out, Dijon and all them, all my new subs. I uh, see, uh, see, I got a few and I appreciate everybody once again. I am definitely, uh, shocked and surprised at how how uh how many subs we've been acquiring uh just playing a little fishing game so i'm definitely appreciative of that so i will see you guys uh on the flip side i will stream tomorrow for a little bit before work as per usual not not gonna say where i'm going because i'm just gonna see what's biting before i jump on and i will talk to you guys later peace